Hey guys, Electric Play 46 here, back with another Blender tutorial. And in this video, as you can see, we will be learning to create fire. Now, this was requested. Um, I also said, Do you guys want a tutorial? And someone said, Yes, so this is for you. Uh, I hope you enjoy it, and I hope this helps you. And there is node setups if I open uh, here and go into node editor. Uh, if we select the fire, here we go. We are going to be setting up this part um, of the node setup, but not this part because we can actually quickly create smoke through a just. I guess you could consider it a little cheat code or something, but I mean it's not exactly cheating because it comes with Blender. But anyway, without further ado, let's get started on creating this and. Uh, First off, we are going to create a new file. And uh, this uses a particle system, so we're going to start off by creating that. So de delete the default cube and uh, hit Shift A, go to Mesh, and grab a UV sphere. And now we're going to hit scale it down by hitting S.5. And that just makes it a little smaller. And so just drag it up and off to the side, and you can hold control to just give it units to something like that. I guess it's pretty good. And enter orthographic view and enter front view, because uh, that's just very helpful. So anyway, now that we have our sphere, sphere set up where we want it to, we're going to create the particle system. So drag this out and select the particle tab and click add a new and if you play this it just sort of drops a bunch of particles and that's not really what we want and we're also going to enter a new uh... another uh... layer and create a uv sphere and just scale that down a little and this will become relevant later but for now i'm just gonna do that and so First, we're going to set the end to 50 and the lifetime to 125. And also, and that just means more particles pour out uh, through a shorter period of time. Actually, let's set this to 75. So, now that we've done that, we're going to make it so it just shoots out like this. And I'm going to actually drag the sphere over here so the arrow is pointing that way and set the X emitter to a fairly decent, yeah, just something like that, maybe 10, 15. User preference, uh, 12.5 maybe. Yeah, something like that's going to be good. And I'll, actually, I'm going to just reduce the lifetime down to 100, because some of this isn't actually going to be visible should not be happening um I'm not sure what's going on here how do I maybe if I create a cube I don't know what's going on actually collision maybe if I just that is sort of reset yeah there we go so I'm just gonna reset that so now that we have that going, uh, we are going to create the smoke and we will set up the nodes <coughs> for the fire later, but we're just going to set up the settings. So we're not going to hit this button. We're going to hit space and search uh, quick smoke. I already had it up because I practiced this. So quick smoke. And now, oh geez, enter cycles render. So quick smoke. And now you'll see that the smoke sh is playing and if you enter render view you can see it renders out and that's just a quick way to make smoke but well, we're gonna set this to this particle system and so we're gonna rotate it on the y-axis by 90 and then enter edit mode um, just uh, hit face select drag this out to about there and this down to about there, and this up to about there. So, and also the, to make this faster, we're going to select Smoke Adaptive Domain, 
And so what that'll just do is that the smoke will just, like, adapt to where the smoke is. So it won't, like, just have this entire thing running. It'll check where the smoke is and put a domain around that in within the actual domain. And so we're going to set the uh, flow source to, instead of the mesh, a particle system and set it to our particle system we just created. And now, as you can see, the smoke is shooting out with the particle system. I'm going to make this a sun so it's easier to see. And uh, it's sort of boxy. If it's rendered out, you can see there is an edge here. But we're going to fix that later. But just so this goes faster, also drag that out. That's not quite big enough. So, anyway. Also, when you go into this, we're going to set this to fire and smoke. And so now fire will go along with it. But the fire doesn't actually render out, and that's where we're going to need to create the nodes. Just keep adjusting it so the smoke will go up and to a, you know, good little view there. Maybe drag this down and add like a Z velocity. Do, uh, do whatever you want to sort of make this a little more dapper. Maybe even scale that by the Y a little more. So also we're going to want the smoke to dissolve. So we're going to enter the smoke editor of the domain and check dissolve, but it dissolves really quickly, uh, automatically, like it'll dissolve really fast. And since we don't want that, we'll set the time to 10, and that will make it so the smoke lasts a little bit longer. And I'm going to show you what smoke high resolution does if we just set the divisions up to 3. And the reason I don't want to do it yet is because it really slows down, but as you can see, that looks a lot better in terms of what actual fire and smoke does and so it's much more realistic so you know just a note but I'm not going to use that just yet also set the divisions to three if you want to test that out and now to, we're going to set up the nodes so we're actually going to drag this panel up and this panel down and to keep this in 3D, set this to Timeline and this to Node Editor. And that's what I do so I can play it while I edit the nodes. And so as you can see, it already set up our nodes here. We have all these different nodes. But to set up the fire, we're going to hit Shift A, go Input, and select Attribute. Now what you're going to do after that is you're just going to go down to name right here and type in flame. You have to type this in. It is very important. So the next thing we're going to do is hit shift A. And since fire emits light, we're going to go emissions. And if I just connect this to the shader um, and try and render this out, it just creates a big block. And since we don't want that, we select the vector to the strength. And now it is where the fire is. But the problem with that is that we can't set the strength. And fire is a lot brighter than that. So what we do is in between here, we go to color and select gamma. And just put this in between. And now we can actually edit. So now that's much brighter by lowering the gamma and by raising it it makes it darker so set it to something low like 0.1 just makes it brighter or 0.15 maybe so that just makes it much brighter and much more realistic in fire cases and if we just set this to an orange color and render it it's not that realistic because fire that's just I'm gonna set this to 15 actually Fire that's just one color is not actually like fire in the real world. And so what we're what we need to do here is we are going to add a color ramp and that will be under converter and select color ramp. And I'll drag the color here and just connect it to this color. 
And now the fire still has that white texture. So we're going to set this. And this is the inside, this one right here. And this is the outside. I know it should go from inside to out, but it doesn't. So go ahead and select the one on the outside if it's not already selected. And set it to sort of an orange, but not super orange. Like maybe a yellowy orange. Something like that. Maybe even peach. However you see it. And add a new one by hitting this button here. And set this to sort of a yellow. And set the black to a really defined orange. A really obvious orange. It's not quite what I want. Maybe that's too yellow. Yeah. But anyway, so that this is just adding some realism to our fire. And also, since fire is sort of clear, we're going to set the A to something low. The I don't know what that's called, but maybe attribute or something. So that just adds sort of a clearness to it. And uh, once again, activate smoke high resolution. Go ahead and play that. And if I just wait a couple seconds. It, and it renders out, it, it looks pretty good. And maybe you want the fire to be a little darker, so just lower these values or make the color darker as you please. So, you know, this is just a little tip on creating pretty quick and pretty basic looking fire, but I don't know, it's just something that was requested and I am pr kind of obligated in a way set the background to black I'm kind of obligated in a weird way to sort of promise you these tutorials if you want a tutorial I'll be more than happy to make it because I really do enjoy making videos and I really do enjoy helping people understand these things so just play around with the colors and this is all user preference. But anyway. Colors aren't really ramping as much as I'd like it. So maybe by re rendering this white. Okay, so it's not really re rendering it like I would like it to. Instead it's just sort of mixing these together. Hmm. Well, anyway. So now we are going to create our text, and that is pretty basic. You can skip this if you want, because I've really just told you the fire. Like, if you look this tutorial up just for the fire, then your time is pretty much done. <laughs> that sounded so kind of creepy. But your time is pretty much done here. So there's really no reason to stick around. But if you do want to just finish this scene, then also just to make sure it doesn't crash, as I will save this to desktop and smoke and fire, just tutorial. So just save that. And... Once that's done, view from the camera, not bottom, camera, and uh, camera. hit N and select lock camera to view. And just drag this where you can't really see the emitter of the fire. And somewhere about here's good. So maybe re simulate this real quick just it's real fast so to recreate this image I don't know why it's not maybe if I like set this to a white hmm I don't even know but 
if I set this to a white, what will that do? Okay, so that change it seems to really change the color. And this guy seems to not have that much of an effect on it. Okay, so I guess this is our main color. But whatever. The color ramp works for me usually when I created that image. And it seems like Blender hates me when I create tutorials because my Rick tutorial, the uh, the IK didn't work. But anyway, so just get rid of this and just get back into our sort of default view. And let's go ahead and hit Shift A and create a nice text. And hit R X 90 to just rotate that. And we want to make sure this is in our camera view, so just hit view from camera. It's pretty small, so scale that up. Enter tab and select flame. Or wait, fire. I'm going to keep this quick. If you're really interested in creating text and creating that 3D text, I'm just going to go through this really fast because I'm pretty sure most of us know how to do that. But if you don't, then I am sorry to be rushing. And let's just set up a emission for that. And now, I mean, the render is pretty slow, but that is pretty much it. It gets a nice little fire effect. Um, I hope yours looks cool when it comes out, and I hope you can post it on Google+. Plus. Uh, make sure to follow me. The link will it be in the description you go check there just to make sure it is I'm, it, it will be you know what let's raise this divisions to five why not make this even more realistic than make it even more realistic than it is so So now let's try. <laughs> I was still there. I was always there. Um, I will always be there for you. <laughs> no, just kidding. That's creepy. But anyway, now it just, when it renders, it's going to look really awesome. I'm going to post the final product. So don't feel neglected if you can't see the finishing project because I hope you make it for yourself and are very successful with it. But anyway, guys, that is the fire creation tutorial. I hope it helps you and have a nice rest of the day and have a great summer.